Fabulous 237. Welcome to another vlog. So, yeah. I haven't really been filming much lately, but anyway, here's what I've been doing. I finally figured out how to do the Pentagon with the granny stitch. So, I'm attempting to make, currently, a sunflower-inspired bucket hat. Now, I know there is a granny square that has a sunflower on it. I currently don't know how to make that. But since I did just learn how to do the Pentagon, I can now do bucket hats. Or at least I can try to because I can now make all the pieces. So I have my center. And I have my first granny square, which is actually pinned on backwards. You can, you can see the, the tied off end in the front here, and that should not be visible. So I'm gonna fix that before I start my second granny square. So I'm gonna have one on each side of the pentagon. So I need to make after the one that I'm currently working on, I'll need to make three more. So that's been my progress so far. I'm also missing several stitch markers. I have a bit of a suspicion that they are either hiding somewhere around my room or either that or in my bag. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll check behind my bed at some point because I tend to drop crochet stuff behind there frequently. So, I'll see if I can find those. These are what I found in my crochet bag. And I know I'm missing some because these colors aren't the only colors that I have. I'm missing... A red one, a couple of black ones, and I'm pretty sure I'm missing a uh, another like dark blue or something. So I'll see what I find. Also, I'm expecting my utility cart to come in soon. So whoa. Yeah, <laughs> that's part of why I'm trying to use up some of my yarn, other than the fact that I have quite a bit of yarn. And I I did actually, with my profits, in addition to the utility cart, I also got the colors that I have deemed as Halloween colors in the cotton and some orange acrylic. Not sure when that'll get here, but it should get here well before October. Because I wanted to try to make some videos, making some Halloween products. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have actual like Halloween items or if they're just going to be Halloween inspired because of my lack of patterns that I found. I, I did find a candy corn pattern, the, the imigurumi that I'm going to try to make for sure. I just have to wait and see if I have enough yellow left over because I don't even know if I have enough yellow to make the granny squares for this hat. So we're gonna find out. I am playing a big old game of yarn chicken. So, um, anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go work on this square and sip on my Dr. Pepper and I will be back later. Especially if the utility cart gets here. I don't think it will get here today since it just shipped, but maybe Amazon will surprise me and it will get here today. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Bye, <laughs> for now. Good evening, my fabulous turn 38. Welcome to another vlog clip. So, 
my package did end up arriving today with the utility cart. So in just a little bit, obviously I'm going to be putting it together on camera because that's going to be entertaining to watch. I do enjoy putting things together occasionally. So I'm going to put this together. Uh, I have a screwdriver in case I need it. I know sometimes these things come with like an, an Allen wrench. But in case it doesn't, I have a screwdriver right here. And also, I have another bucket hat update for you. Yes, so I just have one more granny square to make. And then I'm going to start assembling it. Like stitching it. Right now it's being held together by stitch markers as you can see. But I almost have all my squares. This last square just has one more row on it. So I should definitely have enough yarn. If not, um, I'll start using this. Because I feel like they kind of complement each other. And then I'm going to do the border in this green color, which is good. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it down to just one of these or use some of this up. So that'll be good. And also this, this is kind of like green, like the leaves on the stem of the sunflower. So that's perfect. And I will come back when this hat is fully assembled and talk about it. So, um, I will see you guys later. Uh, I've, yeah, I'm gonna definitely film putting this together, but it's probably gonna be a lot of time-lapse footage because yeah. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna open this up first. And let's see all the pieces. Okay, so um, it looks like this is just like a snap together situation. So I should not need the screwdriver. But anyway, I thought this was going to be a metal cart. No problem, but it's not. I just thought it was going to be metal. And it's plastic. It's totally fine. I will still be able to use it just fine. It's in this dark blue color because the majority of my room has different shades of blue and gray in it. So I picked this color because... I thought it would match the majority of everything else in my room. I also looked at getting a yellow one, but that one was more expensive. So I got this one. So that's the color. Um, anyway, I'm going to go and switch this over to time lapse mode while I figure out how to put this together. So that's the cart. These are, I'm not sure, I don't know what these are, but there's some piece to it. These definitely go on the top. So, uh, cause these are handles. So I'm gonna go figure this out and I will be back with the finished product. So. See ya.
first part, there are actually, there's three tiers. I'm just gonna tilt the camera down a little bit so you can guys, so you can see that. And it was pretty easy to assemble. Now I'm just going to organize my supplies on it and go from there. I'm planning on putting it in one of these corners. Yeah, in this corner somewhere beside the television. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. And I, mean, I also did go to Target, but I mostly just got groceries stuff there just because I happened to be near a Target and also needed a few things at the store. So uh, instead of going to my usual Walmart, uh, I went to Target just because it was right there and it was convenient. Um, I'm going to go organize some yarn and I will be back uh, tomorrow. Bye for now. Hello, my fabulous 238. Welcome to another vlog clip. So, um, I'm just here to give you an update on the bucket hat progress. So I've stitched all the squares together. Uh, I know there is a way to do this attaching with the crochet hook. However, I haven't learned how to do that yet. But I'm really good with sewing. So I decided to just go ahead and stitch them together since I'm good at that. And we have the bucket part of the hat all put together. Now I'm going to start putting the border on in this green color. So you can see I've already got a slip knot and it, this is the plan for how I'm going to get this on. I'm going to do a couple of rows of just regular clusters of the double crochets. I'm going to first attach it with a single crochet in a corner on one of these squares. And then the last row I'm going to do the same stitch that I would use for the borders of a bandana. And let's just see how this turns out. I'll be back when I finish it because I need to figure out how to do this. I'm just sort of winging it. I did not. I have seen several variations of this hat. This one is mine because I did not follow a tutorial. I did not follow a pattern of any kind. I just sort of looked at a picture. Mine's a pentagon. The picture that I saw was, I don't know, a word, a six-sided shape. Yeah, I can't remember the word for it, but it was six sides. But mine is five obviously. So mine's a little bit different, but it's still a bucket hat. Um, anyway, I'm going to go do the border and I will be back. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. And here's the hat all finished. It's definitely giving sunflower, especially from the, like the inside part of it. So cool. It, it does fit on my head. So success. Also, I managed to use up two more colors, which is great. I used up one of my greens, so pretty happy with that. And then I also finished off the first white that I had that was really rang low. So happy about that because now I just have this one big white ball, which is cool. 
I made this scrunchie with the last of the yellow from this hat. So cool. And now, now I have two pieces of cardboard that I can wind some yarn on that hasn't been wound yet. So I'm going to start winding up my fall colors. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm going to start winding up this one. Th yeah, this one's definitely giving off fall vibes. So I'm going to start winding this and also this. Yeah, I originally got this for scrunchies, but it's definitely a fall color. So I'm going to wind that. And I'm going to make some dishcloths or, and or washcloths out of these two colors. So that's what's happening. I'll probably make a scrunchie with these two because there's so little left and just trying to put a little bit of a dent in my stash so we'll see how far I get and yeah I'm also working on using this so there's that's another color and yep that is all uh, hope you're liking this video so far. Good afternoon, my fabulous children 38. Welcome to another vlog clip. So, my new yarn I got here today. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. So, uh, here we go. This is all from Joann's. So here we go. I got a couple of the Big Twist Petite in Orange Bright. So I'm gonna make some pumpkins out of this. And I also got the Lily Sugar and Cream in Hot Orange. Dark Orchard, Black, and Hot Green. So, yeah, I meant to get um, white too, but I just totally forgot it. So, that's that. And, yeah, I'm sure I'll get that at some point, but... Not right now, because I've got some time, and yeah, <laughs> so that is the yarn that I just got that came in today, and I will talk to you guys later. I'm going to go finish this washcloth, got, got to measure it, so each washcloth that I make is an 8x8, eight eight, and Got a little bit of ways to go on this one. So, yep. I'm gonna make two of these in this color wave. And then I'm either going to make more pumpkins or I'm gonna try to learn how to make another fall themed item. So, we'll see what I decide. And I'll be back later. <laughs> Bye for now. Good afternoon, my fabulous Tone Gen 38. Welcome to another vlog clip. So, yeah, I was supposed to film this yesterday, but anyway, didn't get to do that. Two, two things that I wasn't able to control. But um, anyway, I'm starting to restock on my Imagurumi stuff. One of, yeah. This is a purple and black bee. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm down to two bees. And I'm making a different color wave this time for Halloween. 
So this is one of them. It's purple and black because that's the only Halloween color that I currently have. And I'm running low on the yellow. So I'm making purple. Anyway, yep, that's what I'm doing. Making these, and I'm also gonna make some more pumpkins and put those on some keychains. And at some point, I'm gonna try to learn how to make like an apple or a candy corn or something. So that's what's happening. And there's not really anything else to talk about except for I am going to make myself a fanny pack that's not black. I'm going to be using these color, this color for the fanny pack. I'm going to have to make some larger granny squares for this project. So, yeah. Otherwise, I would use the granny squares that I've already made with this particular yarn. But, unfortunately, I need to make bigger squares. So, that's got to happen. And I need six of them. So that's going to happen. And yeah, that covers everything. Because I showed you my new yarn yesterday. And that's it for this vlog. I hope you liked it. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want, you can check out my links in the description or by scanning the QR code at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and above all else, stay fabulous. Bye! Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days.